Welcome to part five. This video will present the SDG6 IWRM support program. You can find out further information by visiting the dedicated website at www.gwp.org forward slash en forward slash SDG6 support. The SDG 6 IWRM support program offers assistance to countries in reporting on SDG indicator 651 as an entry point to accelerate progress towards the achievement of water related SDGs and other development targets in line with national priorities. The support program is coordinated by the Global Water Partnership in collaboration with UNEP-DHI Centre and CAPNET under the guidance of UNEP. The support program has three stages. Stage one, identifying challenges. Stage two, developing action plans. And stage three, implementing solutions. More information on each of these stages will be presented in the next slides. For the 2023 reporting round of indicator 651, Support is available for up to 60 countries for stage one. The aim of stage one of the SDG 6 IWRM support program is to strengthen IWRM monitoring and reporting nationally in order to identify critical areas for attention. Under stage one, the support program has assisted the SDG reporting process in more than 70 countries so far across the 2017 and 2020 reporting rounds. More than 3000 stakeholders were engaged during the process. The support is provided by the Global Water Partnership through its regional water partnerships and country water partnerships who work hand in hand with the national SDG 651 focal points in the countries. Two types of support are available to countries under stage one. Financial assistance, where a facilitator is engaged and support is provided to conduct consultations. This is available for up to 60 countries upon request. The selection criteria for financial assistance include country commitment to engage, country co-financing where feasible, and consideration of the country's IWRM status based on scores from previous indicator 651 reporting rounds in 2017 and 2020. The technical guidance consists of many of the supporting materials discussed in the previous videos. For example, this includes a support package which provides much more detailed guidance and tools for facilitating multi-stakeholder consultation processes for the completion of the SDG 651 survey. Further support is provided through an online training for facilitators course available in English, French and Spanish. Regional learning exchanges can be organized through the SDG 6 IWM support program. The objectives of these exchanges are to share lessons learned from consultations between focal points, identify common challenges and opportunities, and advance regional level reporting. The support program can provide facilitation support and technical guidance, as well as online tools, including communities of practice. No financial support is available for regional learning exchanges. Stage two of the support program targets formulating responses. Using the key challenges to IWRM implementation identified during stage one, stage two aims to facilitate a government led multi stakeholder process to formulate and prioritize appropriate responses to those challenges. An IWRM action plan is developed 
which constitutes a series of attractive investment opportunities to guide the implementation of solutions to IWRM challenges. Countries that have received Stage 1 support are eligible for Stage 2 from 2024 onwards. Finally, Stage 3 assists governments to advance the implementation of IWRM action plans by building new or strengthening multi-stakeholder partnerships, identify financing opportunities and assist countries to gain access to technical assistance and best practices. <laughs>